Assalamualaikum. I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. I hope you enjoyed last of my video. Today I will share you some more interesting concepts. Today we will start from product section and we will learn stream controller and stream and also sync. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification as I upload new videos every time. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get going. To create product section, let's move on home screen. After category section, we will create product section. Now we will create product section widget. In that file, first we will import material library and then create a stateless widget product section. Now we will add the widget in home screen widget. In container widget, I have added padding, decoration, color, and border radius property. To give some height, I have added sized box. Its child property we will add column widget. It takes list of children. In that first we will create title section. Let's create the widget. Okay, now we will add the widget in product section widget. In sized box, I have added width, text widget, and in style property, I have added color, font size, and font weight property. Now we will create the title field. As you can see, title and press parameter required. Let's add that.
in the widget we will create one more title field i am giving its name section title Now we will add here section title and also we will add press parameter. And the product section is a record for section title. Here would be products you like. Actually, I am creating the widgets, the header section, title section, category section separately because we will use the widgets in future many more times and it's the best practice to keep all the widgets constants for easy reference. After product section title widget, I have added sized box. In expanded widget, I have added a widget. Now we will create the widget. We will return stream builder. It will update the data continuously and it's really helpful for apps which requires frequent updates. The stream builder has two key properties that we need to fill out. Stream and builder. First we will fill out stream. For that we will create a separate class. In the services directory I am creating a new file data stream. In that first, we will take an abstract class to implementation subclasses with all properties and methods that abstract class defines. An abstract class keeps your code type safe. Okay, so I am giving its name data stream and also I am adding T for defining type. In that class first, we will take a stream controller. A stream controller simplifies stream management. It's automatically creating stream and sync and providing methods for controlling streams behavior. This function will initialize the stream controller. This function will give us a stream that provided by stream controller. We can access a sync to add new data events to the stream using the add method.
If an error occurs and our streams listener need to be informed, so that we will use add error method. The error will be sent over the stream and via the sync. And now we will create reload method to refresh stream builder. If we have a data provider that has no more data to offer, we will close the stream by the close method. As far as today, there was an invitation to watch the next videos. Thank you.